All the fancy text you see in this video was created using my plugin, Snap Captions. There was no keyframing, no typing out words, just pressing generate and watching these fancy captions populate my timeline. This plugin comes with a bunch of awesome templates like Snap Snake, Snap Disco, my favorite is Snap Film, and all of these as well. Best of all, Snap Captions is now available to download for free. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and use my Snap Captions plugin, create your own template animated text, and how to do this all while staying inside DaVinci Resolve 18.5. What does this plugin exactly do? Well, to start with, it uses DaVinci Resolve's built-in auto subtitle feature. But Orson, you may ask, you can't animate any text in the subtitle layer. You are correct. So that's where my plugin Snap Captions comes in. Snap Captions copies the text from a subtitle track and converts it into your choice of templated animated text plus element. What makes this really cool is since my plugin references this folder for template text effects, you can customize and modify and easily add as many animated templates as your heart desires. And if you wanna find more community created templates, you can find them here at my Discord channel. So now you know what this plugin does, you need to know about the person who actually built this automation, Dan Knowlton. If DaVinci Resolve editors are heroes, then Dan's the guy who gives us superpowers. Just for context, Dan was the person who came up with the idea and implementation of having a dedicated folder to store your templates. In short, Dan made this plugin better than the intended original idea. His mission statement is to give creative professionals more time on creating content and less time on trivial, meaningless tasks. Basically, press less time-wasting buttons and get more content out. Immediately working with him, he was by far the most straightforward person to talk to, which is why I decided to hire him over so many candidates. If you're looking for someone you can trust to build your own video editing automations, you can find his contact details in the link below. This is donationware, so you can donate as much or as little as you want. These donations help fund me and Dan and if we get enough we'll keep updating this tool. Okay so I'm now going to show you how to install this plugin once you've downloaded it. So when you download it you should unzip the file and you'll end up getting a folder that looks like this. We want to first focus on installing the snap captions here. We want to open up resolve and go workspace and console and you should get this window like this. Now what you want to do is take your snap captions file and you can drag this into the console. Now here's a really annoying thing with Mac, every time you click away from Resolve it makes this console disappear. So one of the tricks I found is to click on Resolve, have this folder open on the side and without clicking in the folder just drag and drop. On Windows you don't seem to get this issue. Once you drag it in it should open up the snap captions plugin. Now it's not installed it's just activated so if you want to install it just press at the top right here the install button. Now the Snap Captions file will be loaded and installed into your DaVinci Resolve. Then for instance, let's say we want to reopen this up again anytime in the future, we can just go Workspace, Scripts, Comp, Snap Captions, and there it is. There will be no more install button as it's already installed and it's ready to go. Now, if you're having any trouble with getting Snap Captions installed, you're going to hear me say this a lot, go to the Discord. We have a community, we're all here ready to help each other. Okay, so now that we have Snap Captions installed, let me show you how I professionally use it. And by the end of this video, you should have created something like this. Did you know that we can finally in DaVinci Resolve create automatic fancy captions like you see below without any typing, any keyframes, any of that time wasting button presses. And this is all thanks to the fact that I've hired an IT programmer to create this automation and I'm giving it away for free. If you want to find out more about it, you can check the full video in the description or comments below. That's what we're going to be creating today. So now this is where we're going to start. Usually you'll have your video edited and we haven't applied any sound effects. We haven't done any text. Let's turn this into something you'd more typically see on your YouTube, Insta, or TikTok short form video content. First step is to use Resolve's built-in function to auto-generate a subtitle track. We simply go to Timeline, Create Subtitles from Audio. For vertical videos, I like having a character per line limit of 15 to 28, depending on that thickness of your font. For horizontal, the Netflix standard, which you can find over here, seems to work perfectly fine. Overall, the character limit is important to play with to find a style that suits you. I would recommend actually doing this a couple times and just seeing how many words you want to squeeze in to your video. You don't want too many or too little. You've got to find your own personal Goldilocks character limit. I'm going to just do simply 18 characters per line and I like doing single lines. I'm not the biggest fan of doubles. Then I can just hit create. It'll take a moment for DaVinci Resolve to generate this new subtitle track. So we will just wait. Boop, boop, boop. And done. That literally took, 
I don't know, five seconds tops. Now we've done that, if we have a quick play of this, did you know that we can finally in DaVinci Resolve create automatic fancy captions like you see below without any typing, any keyframes, any of that time waste? With the subtitle track generated, we can use the Snap Captions plugin finally because it's going to reference the subtitle track and turn it into a text boss. So to turn the subtitle track into something animatable, we now need to go to Workspace, Scripts, Comp, Snap Captions. Now, this is subtitle track one, so this is subtitle one here. And now we get to choose our template. So when it comes to choosing these templates, this will reference a folder in here called Snap Captions. If this folder is renamed to anything else, it will not find it as this plugin is looking specifically for a folder called Snap Captions case sensitive. So for this video here, I'm going to be using the vertical format Snap Beast titles. You'll probably know where that's from. In terms of this case conversion, I'm gonna uppercase everything. Remove the punctuation again. So with the subtitle track, it's probably done a few commas and full stops. You don't traditionally see these in videos. So we're gonna remove them automatically, which again is just another awesome time saving feature. And I'm gonna change this to 50 frames. This is just gonna make sure that if there's a gap that's less than two seconds, we don't see that text blinking on and off. And then we can just simply hit generate and <laughs> <laughs> How easy is that? Now, if I have a quick play of this, did you know that we can finally in DaVinci Resolve create automatic fancy captions like you see below without any typing, any keyframes, any of that time wasting button presses? And there's all. And look, that's how easy it is. There's no more manual typing or alt click and dragging across these text effects. It just happens automatically. But let's say the effects that I've given you for free here aren't what you're looking for. You need something that's a little different. How do we go about installing new animated fancy captions? If you already have your own template text plus element you want to use within this plugin, it's really easy. Like I was saying before, Snap Captions references this folder up here. So all you have to do is create your desired fancy text template. So for instance, this case, you might say, hey, I really like the Snap Beast template, but uh, just the font. Font's not something I actually want. I think it's uh, a little too like someone else on YouTube. Well, we can go, all right, let's change this from Comic Guard to Roboto. And we're gonna make this also a bold. And now we're seeing how this is also getting outside the space. We might try and shrink that down a little bit. And hey, my favorite color is green. Sweet. Now, if you want this text plus element to be something that Snap Captions reference, we can just simply left click and drag in. It'll now add the text plus element here and we just rename this to whatever we want. So in this case, I'm just gonna call green Roboto Poppin. And voila, you'll find your template text plus element ready to go inside of Snap Captions. So now, simply put, I can just hit this green Roboto pop in. Same thing again. This time, we're going to capitalize all the words, remove punctuation, and again, do 50 frames and hit generate. Now let's just hide that old one we had and let's have a look. Did you know that we can finally in DaVinci Resolve create automatic... How easy is that? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to find more templates, you can head on over to my Discord where I'll have a specific section for users to freely share their own text plus elements that work with Snap Captions. And I will be releasing a video very shortly where I go over some clever techniques to creating your own fancy caption animations. And if you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out this one here where I show my Snap UI template, which helps make sure that all these fancy captions we're creating don't get ruined by those social media user interfaces. It's a really awesome tool and I hope you enjoy it. And apart from that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this plugin makes a world of difference for you. I'm getting a lot of joy out of creating this. And until next time, I will catch you around.